Hello there, and welcome to my server mini series. Um, how to set up a server and install some mods. In this episode, I'll be doing the installing the mod part. Now, the first thing you need to do is get a bucket server. I showed you how to do that in uh, the last video. Uh, I'll just uh, give you a minute to go back and watch it. Do, 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 do. Okay, hope you watched it fast. Um, what you uh, need to do to get a mod is, well, I mean, close Minecraft causes a tremendous amount of lag. Um, what you need to do is go to bucket.org. Dot org, and that's with uh, two Ks and an IT. Um, and uh, what you press is get plugins over here. And uh, here's all the plugins you can install. There's, there's really, there's tons of them. Um, so, uh, the first thing I like to install when I set up a server is something called, um, permissions. Um, and it's, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it sets permissions so that only certain people can do certain stuff. And, yeah, stuff like that. And, um, a lot of mods require permissions to work, so that's one of the things you want to get first. Permissions. And I'm just going to search for that. And, um, it's one of these here. Um, it's going to be under, um, anti-griefing tools, I believe. Um, ooh, block lock's a good one. Um, okay, uh, where's permissions? Okay, uh, I guess it's not on the list. I'm going to have to search for it in Google. Minecraft bucket permissions. What? Permissions. Permissions. Uh, here we go. What the heck? Um, that's weird. Okay. Um, I'm gonna find uh find the permissions, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I finally found it. It turns out it was under uh, the dev.bucket.org um, and in the official server mod section. Um, so here it is. I'll post a link in the description. And uh, the one that I need to download is um, Permissions Bucket Latest Dev Build Jar. And uh, I'm going to click that. And I'm going to hit Keep. And then to install a plugin, uh, what you do is just take the plugin, uh, go into the Minecraft server folder, and there's gonna be a folder called plugins, if not, uh, create one, and just drop it in there. And the next time you, uh, run a server, it will, um, it'll, uh, be setting up the, uh, the, the, uh, plugin, and then you have to stop the server and restart it, uh, for it to actually, uh, work. May require uh, may require additional setup uh, like permissions uh, setup or MySQL setup. I, I haven't found any with MySQL, but they're out there, so uh, be cautious about that. Um, so yeah, start the server. Dot slash start. Uh, that, that's the thing about bucket. Um, it doesn't actually tell you what you're typing in until you type it, or in, until you uh, hit enter. So. Um, okay, I'm going to stop, and um, you can see it created a folder in plugins called Permissions Bucket, and in here is a YML config um, document, and uh, you need to change this to be able to use Permissions Bucket. So, uh, you can see it's got a bunch of code here, uh, things uh, with the pound signs are comments, they don't get read, you can delete them, but I'm going to keep them there. Um, and, uh, basically this is just, um, it's like an XML document, um, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, back to this, <clears throat> uh, the users, uh, section is basically, um, individual settings for each person, um, I'm going to rename Conspiracy Wizard to ARCs, and permissions, um, I'm just gonna leave that there. Um, a thing to note about uh, YML, um, you have to put four spaces, um, not not tabs, uh, between sections. 
like uh, here's a subgroup. Uh, this for whatever reason isn't a subgroup. And uh, you can have as many users as you want in here. Um, like uh, I'm gonna oh, I must hit tab there. I say arcs one. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with the permission section. I'm just gonna go straight to groups. Uh, I'll uh, explain what a group is later. Ah, uh, it's a semicolon. Space bar, space bar. And, uh, back user. Okay, so that's that. Um, and groups are basically just groups of permissions. And you can assign a group to a user. Like, um, arcs has the admin group. And arcs1 is the user group. So, um, the default group right here is for people um, who don't get assigned a specific group and uh, just uh, people coming in um, out, out of the street, just knowing you know and stuff like that. Um, and under the permissions, you can see that permissions.build is false, which basically means they can't build. They can't break blocks, they can't add blocks, and they can't interact with stuff. Or maybe they can, but I don't think so. Um, and then the admin group, um, <clears throat> this is basically saying that every an admin can do everything uh, by this little star icon under here. And, in and it inherits everything that the user group um, has. So in the user group, um, you uh, setting it so that you can build instead of you can't build, which is over here. And um, worlds, uh, it's just world mode. Um, and in the creative mode, uh, you can use coolplugin.item. Um, cool plugin isn't a real plugin. Um, and it inherits everything from default. So I could add more stuff to this, and user would automatically get it. And so would admin. Um, so, yeah. And uh, if you're a, um, a default person and you try to build, uh, this is the message that you get. Um, See, sorry. No building allowed. Uh, please contact admin for building privilege. How do you spell that? Uh, something like that. Um, okay, so uh, that's all you have to do in config.yml to set up permissions. And you, you can change some of this if you want. Um, I'm just having it like this. Like You can change the users. Um, yeah. Uh, so quit and text edit. And then I start the server. Okay, you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, that's only going to show up uh, the first time you run permissions. So, yeah. Okay, so um, Arcs is an admin, which means he can do everything uh, that anyone can. So uh, let me just show you what that looks like. Yeah, connect to that. Okay, any day now. Okay, technically I logged in as you Okay, uh apparently I'm in a ravine. Um so yeah. Build uh build includes placing blocks and deleting blocks. Let's see if I can place anything. Yay! Okay, I can place and delete stuff. Such as this column of stone. And apparently, I also have the fly permission on. I don't know if that's a permission or not, but I can fly. Whoa! Uh, in creative mode, you can actually break bedrock. Oh yeah, and uh, that's the void. It is now black. If you ever go into the void, don't move um, from where you uh, fall down, because you won't be able to fly up. 
Well, lag. Okay, there's the here's the hole. So yeah. Okay, so um, that is the admin group, which is which is currently um, just the um, it's currently just the user group. Um, well, let me show you what it looks like in the default group. Oh, I just start playing music. I hate to cut it off here. Minecraft with a different username. There we go. Arcs 2 is currently um, a part of the default group. So let's see what happens when he plays. It'd be really cool if the background here was uh, your most recent map that you played. Okay, so Arx2 is in the game. Looks like he hasn't gotten any achievements yet. Yay, achievement get. Um, so... Yep, can't, I can't break stuff. Let's see what happens if I play stuff. Instant removal. And if I try to break anything, just stays where it is. I can actually break tall grass. That's I, I never knew that. Okay, and I can fly, so that's not a permission. I, I, huh. It's insanely weird. I can like to just make a little note. Um, so the fact that uh, oh, okay. I can that's break blocks is due to server lag. On your server, it probably won't happen. Okay. Yep, just a little note. Bye. Let me open up the YML. I have no idea what's going wrong here, because it, it's apparently not saying I'm part of the default group. Okay, here's another note from the future. Yeah, it's just due to server lag. That's all. Bye. There's something. Here we go. Okay, right, so for whatever reason, it is letting me delete blocks. And... And if anyone asks, um, if you want to play a server with Minecraft SP, um, you need to, um, turn off online mode. Oh, uh, yeah. So, um, I guess it's just a bit of server lag here. Yep. Okay, uh, now it's, uh, well, the user group won't uh, have anything different. Um, I am going to log in, uh, as an admin, so, so I can, uh, show you all the cool admin stuff. Um, but... I'll do that another time because I'm sure this video is long enough already. And um, yeah, so that was uh, how to install the permissions mod. In the next episode, I'll be showing you uh, the world edit mod, uh, which is a, a really cool addition uh, to any server. It's just awesome, really. So, yep, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.